so dear student welcome again uh, to the chemistry practical from the chemistry unit of department of applied science macau west bengal uh, today we will do the experiment for determination of percentage composition of sugar solution from viscosity that is using viscosity method and uh, the property of viscosity is associated with the fluid flow we all know that and uh, the viscosity is detained as the internal friction between layers of fluid as they pass over each other when they uh, move with different velocity thus there is a tendency uh, to destroy the relative motion as if there is a tangential force that drags in the backward direction this is uh, this can be said as the viscous force okay so this is the very basics of uh, viscosity and uh, today what in during our experiment we will use the oswald viscometer the picnometer stopwatch and thermometer and the reagents that will be used are glucose solution of as you can see over here 2% 4% 6% and uh, unknown solution and distilled water now uh, to begin with that one we need to first go for the determination of density of the liquid uh, as you can see over here this is the table for that and uh, this is uh, already we have prepared the solutions of uh, 2% 4% and 6% and the unknown solutions now this is the uh, density of these liquids as you can see over here where the working formula is w2 minus w1 equal to w1 minus w um, and where w is equal to weight of the empty specific gravity bottle w1 is the weight of the specific gravity bottle with water and w2 is the weight of specific gravity bottle with sugar solution so now we will uh, show you the experiment with water solution using the oswald visco meter and uh, then we will uh, repeat the experiment for the other solutions of glucose and uh, take the reading for that so now we will do the first reading uh, with water as the sample solution as you can see over here uh, in the left hand side uh, in the left hand it's the oswald visco meter as you can see over here and uh, in the right hand side it's a graduated pipette uh, so yeah so we will take that to pipe it out water from the beaker and uh, pu uh, put it into the oswald viscometer
Mm -hmm. We have to start stopwatch and when we cross this line, we have to stop the stopwatch and take the time duration. You see this uh, water level cross this. Now, look, cross this limit and stop the stopwatch. Pass. This is first experiment we have to done. So, students, as you saw just that uh, we did the experiment for water molecule water solution and uh, this is the working formula you can see over here that uh, eta equal to eta w into rho 1 by rho 2 into t1 by tw where eta w equal to viscosity of water and eta is the viscosity now the today's temperature is 30.6 so the eta w is 30 point at that temperature the eta w is given uh, at 1.02 into 10 to the power minus 3 points and the row 1 and row 2 that we got in the previous table that's shown over here uh, for water solution and 2% 4% 6% glucose solution and the unknown percentage solution of glucose so these are the row 1 by row 2 values and the T1 by TW is TW will be the uh, flow rate for the water which will be constant for all the readings and the T1 value will vary so now you can see in the table uh, if I can show you yeah in the table you can see this is the determination of viscosity of liquid and uh, in the left column you can see in the column that is the heading substrate number of observation the time flow required in second, the mean time flow in second, density of the solutions, gram per cc and the viscosity with the working formula that have been shown to you just a uh, few seconds back. So we repeated the experiment and uh, you can see the readings and from uh, pure water, in case of pure water with the three readings and the mean value in case of 2% sugar solution, 4% sugar solution and 6% sugar solution and for the unknown sugar solution we have taken the value and these are the uh, mean time of flow 7.62, 7.80, 7.82, 8.18, 8.7.86 uh, respectively and the density uh, as from the table shown before density we obtained and uh, using these values we get the viscosity and uh, now with the, these parameters we have to put these viscosity values with the percentage of solutions into the plot where your y-axis uh, should be the viscosity of the solution and in the, your x-axis should be the um, concentration of uh, the solution uh, and then you will see uh, we will show you the kind of graph that is expected if I can zoom there yeah you can see now that uh, this is the plot where in the y-axis you will have the uh, the viscosity and uh, in the x-axis you will have the percentage of the sugar solution and for the unknown solution you have to put the viscosity and uh, draw a straight line to the x-axis for the percentage for that solution and then you can draw the plot in that way so this is uh, all about the experiment regarding 
the determination of percentage composition of sugar solution uh, from viscosity using the Oswald viscometer. Thank you.